Hey y'all, Foundation Afro here, and earlier today I finished reading Karen Travis's The Thursday War, and now I talk about it, so as always, if you have yet to read the book, please turn off this video now so I don't spoil anything. The Thursday War is the sequel to Karen Travis's earlier book, uh, Glasslands, and I must say it's probably a better book than Glasslands, but I don't like it as much as Glasslands. Um. This is kind of all a single story. Uh, there's the ODSTs, there's Admiral Perangowski, and there's Jubal and Alma. And it's all part of the uh, Sangili Civil War, whereas uh, Glasslands, the Sangili Civil War, it had been inside the Dyson Sphere and it had a uh, thing with Dr. Halsey. Which and bad per se, but it was kind of three stories in one novel. Uh, this, although it's told from multiple perspectives, it's all about the one thing, the war. And, oh, the war. Humans are evil. Humans are really, really evil. <sighs> I mean, we put together this whole war so the Sagili will wipe each other out and we won't have to deal with them anymore and so uh, we could pursue diplomatic relations, at least try. Uh, you can see that's possible. We're doing it both sides, both the Arbiter side and the factions fighting him to try and uh, get rid of humanity. So, it shows like Oni is really, really good at diplomacy, getting p people to do what they want, but they're doing it in the wrong way, getting the Sengili to wipe each other out instead of uh, working together with the humans. So yeah, humans are are pretty pretty bad. But this also really shows like the amount of civil war it talked about between the Singili, the elites, it really showed how no, it's not as cut and dry as Halo 3 made look where suddenly the Singili broke off from the Covenant and fought alongside us. No, most of them still hate us because they've been fighting us for like three decades. Um, they've been growing up telling, being told they should hate us, how disgusting we are. And the stuff Oni's doing is only adding to that, showing how evil humans are. The Sengili are no better. Uh, like lost the other coven species. Since they weren't in control, the brutes were for a while, the Girolani were in control for a while, but pretty much everyone else has gone back to their old ways. And I mean, the Civil War explodes when some Girolani attack the Girolando. Anyway, when some Jilhane attack, so there are some bad ones. Most of the other Covenant, the... Uh, I can't think of the other one. 
It's the Groots, the Jackals, the Brute, the Grunts, and the Jackals. The Jackals are back to their old pottering ways. Most of them are not that against humanity as the Sangili still are. Uh, what else did I want to say? I get all of it up here. Then would come out down here. Ow, that hurt. Um, Halo 4, that's why I want to say. Um, when I said I'd finished this, or I'd finished Glasslands on Radio Live back in the fall, a bunch of people told me before you play Halo 4. Read the Thursday War. And I did not heed their advice. I knew it should be their advice because I knew how much backstory this was going to have for Halo 4. And uh, Halo 4 would probably be better if I read it. But I did not. But this does such a good job of explaining this uh, and glass sounds as well but more so this because this actually is the spark of the war uh julandama who you fight in uh spartan ops begin he escapes at the end and Vikan's looking for the didact <laughs> So that, I mean, that was one of the problems with Halo 4, is that the story, albeit good, you need to read some of the extended fiction in order to understand it more, which made it harder for people who just want to play the game. But yeah, if you've played Halo 4 and haven't read The Thursday War and haven't read Glasslands yet, I highly, highly recommend that you do so. One sec. Sorry about that, I... There's a knock on the door. I had to go grab it. I think I was walking over there and bumped into the tripod a couple times and may have changed the camera angle a bit, but... This is the end of my video anyway. Um, if you've read The Thursday War, please tell me what you thought of it and what you thought of it in relation to Halo 4 and in relation to Glasslands. Um, what do you think the Karen Travis's next book is going to be, is going to happen after Halo 4, before Halo 5. I personally think that's the case. Um, Perengovsky, what happened to her? I mean, she, like, she's 95 years old or something, but she's in the Thursday War. She's not in Halo 4, which happens right after the Thursday War. So... Yeah, lots of questions still answered that I'm sure will be answered in the next book, which comes out in the fall sometime. So yeah, please leave me a comment below telling me what you thought. Give me a like if you enjoy this video and subscribe if you want to see more content. Yeah, the angle that changed in it. Um, yeah, and... Tell me what you want to see in the future. I might read Greg Bear's book next, uh, the third book in the Forerunner trilogy. I'm not sure. Uh, there's kind of. I might read J.K. Rowling's book as well because she's J.K. Rowling and I bought it like back in the fall. Um. Read the first few chapters and put it down. So I'll start from the beginning of that, read it, and talk to you about it. So, yeah, look forward to all that in the future. Uh, well, I'm not usually a guy for going to the movie theater. I usually like to wait until they come on DVD, but 
lots of great movies coming out. Uh, Star Trek Into Darkness just came out. Superman's gonna come out. Iron Man's gonna come out, which I might skip, I'm not sure. But I'll probably see it. And uh, After Earth. After Earth looks like an excellent movie. So I'm probably gonna see all of those and talk to you about them. So look forward to that. This Foundation Afro is saying bye bye and speaking with the Afro. I don't know if we'll see you next time. It's kind of starting to get haircut worthy, but maybe. Maybe I'll let it out. Who knows? So, bye-bye. See you next time.